Hello there my crafty knitters. Welcome back to the Knitted Oaks channel. It has been four plus years since our last video um, and there's a lot that has transpired since then. Uh, lots of good things of course for me personally and for Knitted Oaks. Um, so I'll start with me. Four years ago um, I landed a job after years of graduating and not having a job so I was able to pump out the videos a lot more in that time span of not working. When I got the job it was um, hit the ground running I really barely had time to myself um, so videos took a back seat. Um, I got engaged shortly thereafter um, I got married shortly thereafter and then I had a son shortly thereafter was a honeymoon baby so I had a lot of life instances that happened back to back to back that really took me away from the camera and didn't give me the time that I needed to really put together a video for you it's not easy to just get in front of the camera there's a lot of steps that have to be taken before we can actually do this so with that being said uh, I took a lot of steps to do this for you today um, you may have noticed um, some new videos have been posted on the channel recently um, that are basic knitting videos and I redid those videos because I wanted to have a clean slate for my knitting 101 videos. I rewatched the original ones that I did and I wasn't all the way happy with them so I didn't get rid of them because they have viewage but I wanted to redo it again and I wanted to repost these very new ones on our new website which I'll discuss in a few minutes. Um, so that's the reason why and I wish I was able to do this video first before that but I had a deadline for the website's update so I had to do those videos first. So I just wanted to explain those. It's not really for my seasonal seasoned knitters. That's for those who are brand new to Knitted Oaks family and just really want to know how to begin knitting. So I have some notes here. So what has Knitted Oaks been up to? Well if you follow us on social media and if you don't please do. We are on Facebook as Knitted Oaks, we are on Instagram as Knitted Oaks, um, we are on Ravelry as Knitted Oaks or you can find me as Craft D Knits and that's Craft C-R-A-F-T, D as in Dana, Knits, K-N-I-T-S, all one word. So Crafty Knits. Um, we are also on Pinterest as Knitted Oaks. Um, Twitter, we are on as Knitted Oaks, but you can also find me under Queen of the Stitch. I'll put the spelling <laughs> in the description bar. Um, so we're all cross social media and I frequent social media more than I do YouTube because again YouTube there's a lot to go into making a video it's not just getting in front of the camera um, where social media I could be in my pajamas on the bus in my bed at the bookstore in the grocery store and post something that we're doing um, so that's what I do so for the last four plus years we've been heavily across social media just not just not YouTube also my blogging has decreased over since getting this new job because um, I say new job but it's been four years I've been at the same place now um, because again it was so time consuming um, but I'm changing all of the above now I, I am still working my day job um, I'm still a mama I'm still a wife um, but I was just determined to not fall asleep on the blessing of knitted oaks God gave this to me and I had to remind myself of that and just you know pray about it and have God put things into my spirit and out came new patterns a new determination and so last fall literally a, over a year ago I made a decision that 2016 we were going to revamp our website we were going to get some new patterns designed and pumped out and I got that done so I thank God I'm very proud of myself for that because uh, it took a lot of sleepless nights um, it's just me and we'll do another video or maybe a blog post about being a one-woman show or a solo entrepreneur um, it isn't easy but when you're doing something you love it's never work and I've heard that time and time again and yes I was up till 2 3 in the morning knitting and I wasn't 
phased. I wasn't upset. I wasn't stressed. I was like, ah, got to get this out because I got a deadline. So what to expect from Knitted Oaks in 2017? Well, if you haven't, I'm going to put the link in the description bar to the website. It is still www.knittedoaks.com. We got a whole facelift. We have our online boutique. Our online shop is open. This is something I've been trying to do well over four years ago, um, but it just never was the right time, and I needed that time and commitment to do it, and um, it's finally here, so I hope that you stop by. I hope that you see something that you like um, and that you'll make a purchase. You know, it's just the patterns, just so we're clear. I am not closing my mind off to custom orders, but again, it is just me right now. So maybe 2017, that's something I will embark on and trying to do for you guys is getting custom orders added to the shop. But for right now, for all of my knitters who watch me here on YouTube, it's just a pattern. So you can knit it yourself. You can just follow the instructions and you can have your item. You can do it for the holidays. You can do it for the New Year's. Some of them are for the holidays, but you can use different color yarn to make it for year-round uh, uh, objects, uh, pieces. So yeah, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to just be for the holidays. I used holiday colored yarn because that was the agenda, you know, so. Um, but yeah, please stop by, please look around, leave me a comment, contact us, let me know what you think of the site, let me know your opinion. Um, you can talk to me on Instagram, Facebook, you know, um, and let's stay in touch. Another thing you can expect in 2017 is new videos. I'm going to, I, this is the number one question I get on my, um, on across social media when my subscribers reach out to me Dana are you gonna bring back the videos yes I'm very excited and I'm at a place where it can happen so I'm very excited um, I wish I, I can't go into all the details right now but my husband and I have done so much to have this moment happening right now like even the camera we're using right now honey oh god will do it so i am just so blessed and thankful to god for all the little things it took some time to get everything the way i wanted it and i can finally stand here or sit here and tell you that we're finally where i want us to be um so i see more videos for 2017 i've already made a schedule for myself um, and we just I just have to sit down and crank them out for you. So God is good all of the time. Thank you so so very much because when we when we took our hiatus, we were little over 3,000 subscribers maybe. And today we are over 7,000 subscribers. And I am just thus I thank you Jesus. I thank God. I thank you guys for believing in me and for subscribing even though there were there were no new videos and you still subscribed anyway. Um, tell your friends now to subscribe. Anyone else who wants to learn to knit, we're going to incorporate some crochet um, between the blog and, the, and YouTube here. Um, crochet has definitely entered my life over the last four years. I talked about that a little on my blog. Um, on my past blog, but uh, when you get to the website, you'll see I only chose certain blog posts to come over to the new site. So I will talk about crochet and how it entered my life again in future blog posts. But thank you so much for sticking with me, for writing this out, and God bless you all. Happy holidays. I don't know if I'll be able to do another video before 2017. But if I don't, happy holidays to you, happy Hanukkah, happy Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Boxing Day, <laughs> and happy, happy, and blessed and prosperous 2017 to all of you. And may God continue to do exponential things in both you and my life. Okay? So stay blessed and remember, knitting is still very sexy.